How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Trinket Repair channel. As always, I'm Dan, back with a quick little video for you today. It is a hot Sunday, which is the reason for the Dress Down Friday scruffs, even though it's Sunday. But I won't do this video for you anyway, because it's a popular job that we get asked about all the time. We're doing French tip metal toe plates. So I'm gonna show you how we do toe plates. We've got this lovely pair of Edward Green shoes, actually four pairs of these customers brought in. They are a little worn, essentially brand new though. We're putting metal toe plates on the front. Keep watching, see what it's all about. So once again, welcome back guys. Hope you're doing fantastic. If you guys are in the UK like me, hope you're doing all right with the heat. Now, if you stick around to the end of this video, I forgot to say, we've got a little special something. There's also dinosaurs intrigued today, a little adventure. But for now, we're talking about how to do toe plates. So like I said, we've got these Edward Green, got a few pairs, we've got some brogues, got some loafers, got some suede. So we've got our work cut out for us. So what are toe plates? We usually do toe plates when we get a full sole repairing, we'll do a new leather sole and then put toe plates on the front. So your toe plates are essentially these small metal caps. And the main question I get all the time is what is the point of a toe plate? And it's quite self-explanatory. It stops the toes wearing out. Metal is a lot harder wearing than leather. So if you're prone to wearing out the toes of your shoes first, add a toe plate on the front, it's gonna stop it wearing out at the toe so fast. And the same goes for metal quarter tips, which is metal on the corners of the heels if you're extra heavy on the heel. But today we're talking about toe plates. So got a few different types of toe plates that I can show you. The old fashioned way of toe plates, sometimes called Blakey's, would be these sort of things. And they would be plonked right on top of the leather and then some nails just go through there. But of course that protrudes a little bit, it's not so smart. So what we do instead here in the repair shop, I use these once again, these are called Lulu French tips. So these are thicker than your regular toe plate that goes on top, but we don't want it to protrude. So what we do is we measure everything up and we cut a sliver of leather away so that this will sit indented and perfectly in line and level with the base of the shoe. Another one that we've got are these brass Triumph toe plates, much the same, it's just personal preference. I usually recommend the Lulu plates because I think they look smarter and let's be honest, everyone likes saying Lulu. Right, anyway, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's get this guy on our shoe last. And we're gonna take our new French tip and just place it on the shoe where it's gonna go and get a rough idea how it's gonna fit, how it's gonna look. Some of these French tips come with a curve in them. Some of them are dead flat. So what we're gonna do is just take a look, see what it looks like at the minute. If I can show you guys, you see it's pretty close already. It's got a curve in, but so has the original sole. Now, if we want to change the shape of the toe plate, make it a little flatter or a bit more curved at the tips, the nickel is quite malleable. So what we can do is just put it on our last, get a hammer and just tap it in whichever particular place we want to, to adjust it. But for now, this is a pretty good shape. So we're just gonna go with that. First thing I wanna do is wet the leather a little bit because that's gonna soften it, make it easier to cut. Soak in for a minute. Okay, so now that leather is a little damp, we can start cutting. So we're just gonna use our toe plate as essentially a guideline to start the cutting. So we're gonna line it up so it's exactly flush with the front edge and we're just gonna make a score line so we know where we're starting with a knife. Get him out of the way and we can start making the actual cut, which is obviously deeper than the score line. Now, given the fact that this is slightly worn away at the front of the toe, we want to take away more depth from the front section of our cut and less at the front of the shoe so that the toe plate is going to sit flat. So there we are, it just flew off. There's our leather, and if we have a look, there's the recess. So what I will point out is we've cut it just above the stitches. So a lot of people ask, don't you cut through the stitches? But the sole 
is still stitched on. We've just taken off the top portion. So I'll just show you on the other shoe, the left hand shoe, that's the one I've started on first. Got our recess and our toe plate and dunk, it just sits in there nice and flat. So now to get it on and get it in place, we're just gonna put a dab of glue just to secure it and then screws is gonna be the main anchor. I apologise if this footage is a bit dark by the way guys, it's such a bright sunny day outside and uh, it's hard for me to do much about as I'm working in the window. Okay, so once we've heated up the glue we can just locate it in place. Sorry, we can hear the traffic outside. And then just knock it into place. Okay, next. This isn't essential, but I like to do it. I'm just gonna take my little Ryobi and just do some small pilot holes ready for the screws. It just makes it a lot easier to get them in and all the way in so they're nice and flush, but still tight. I like to put on latex gloves just because the screwdriver that we're gonna use, it's pretty small and this just helps you get purchase on it. So we want a nice firm grip for putting these screws in nice and tight. And these particular gloves are too Goddamn small and they keep on snapping. Okay, success. No snapping. So something you need to know, especially if you're a cobbler, these Lulu toe plates don't come with a specific bunch of screws. So they do sometimes come supplied with screws from the supplier, but it's just generic style. I like to buy my own. So I've got this selection of screws here and I like to use brass ones, just for a little contrast of color. So I've got these brass Phillips head. Let's get them in. Started out so small. Now if the plate isn't sitting completely flat, as you put these screws in and tighten them up, it's really going to pull it down and anchor it into place. So make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, perfecto. Okay, so our toe plate is on, but it's not quite finished yet. It's not the right shape. So if I show you, how can I show you guys? There, all right, see it's just poking over the edge. So we need to trim that down on the machine so it all matches, it's all the same shape, and then ink it around and give it a nice finish. take a little bit of very fine sandpaper and this helps us just get a nice well a really nice smooth edge and you'll see that I'm working all the way down to the halfway point of the sole and that's just so that it blends in when we put our new ink on it now there's a slight difference when we're painting and polishing the leather and the very front edge of the metal toe plate. So you typically just have to put a couple of extra coats of paint on there so that it takes to the metal. So one last finishing touch. Whenever there's a bit of polish on the metal of the toe plate, I just like to come with to the wire brush and just shine it off. Okay, so there we go guys, job done. Simple job, but our Lulu French tip on the end of the shoe, so you can put these on any leather sole shoe. And if I rotate that round, you can see it's all nice and cut into the shoe, not just plonked on top. So now I've just got to do the other seven shoes, but I'm not gonna film that for you guys because we're getting out of here. Like I said, we're going on an adventure to go and look for apparently the dinosaurs that are in Tring. Let's go. So here we are everyone, I'm here with, where, where are you going? Crossing the road. Crossing the road. Here I am with Annabelle, she's back on the channel. We are heading down the road to see the dinosaurs. I do need to clarify because I need to clarify a lot of you people say whenever Annabelle is on the channel, she's not my wife or my sister. Heck, oh, God, she's, imagine. she's barely even my friend. 
emotional damage. So wife and sister. We're, wife and Sorry. sister, yes. So we're down in the Memorial Gardens, just down the road from the shop. What's that one? <laughs> that, Annabelle, is it's a Stegosaurus. Yeah. And apparently they are three wow. meters long and two tons. Annabelle, if you were a dinosaur, you know if you were a dinosaur, do you know what dinosaur you would be? You'd be a Stegosaurus because although they're extremely large, they have remarkably small brains. You can't pick on someone with a mouthful when they can't respond. You get a minute for the brain to kick into gear there. The late period, Cretaceous. Yes. Late Cretaceous. The length up to nine meters. Do you know what comes after the Cretaceous period? No. The good Cretaceous yeah. period. So here we have a Triceratops, and it's got two massive horns. This is going to be the most riveting video ever. <laughs> oh no, we look like I've got a really big belly. Oh, what do you call a dinosaur wearing a cowboy hat? I don't know. Tyrannosaurus don't know. Tex. How do you ask a dinosaur if he wants a drink? I don't know. Do you want a T-Rex? Are they all T-Rex drinks? <laughs> of course they're all T-Rex drinks. This is also the late... Say again. Cretaceous. Okay. They were also... Okay, what should I do? I don't... I just... just okay. You can't have second takes. Cretaceous period as well. The where? The Cretaceous. I hate you. <laughs> How do you say it? Cretaceous. What did I say? Crustaceous. Okay. Velociraptor. Yeah. I think these are my favourite. Velociraptors made famous by Jurassic Park. Yeah. Clever girls. They weighed... What? No, hang on. Hang on. Look at this fact. They weighed 25 kilograms. How much do you weigh? That is absolute... Try. <laughs> yeah. I weigh four times as much as a Velociraptor, apparently. <laughs> they must mean 250 kilos. Annabelle says we need to film this discussion. <laughs> We are debating how much Velociraptors weigh, so I'm Set going... Board, 25. I'm talking! Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> the impression I got from Jurassic Park is that they were kind of pretty big and maybe weighed about 200 kilos. That sign said 25 kilos, which is ridiculous. And I just googled and they were 100 pounds. 100 pounds, which would be 50 kilos, which is very small. That's like a large dog. It said large wolf. It's large wolf. So guys, in the comments, how much do you think Velociraptors weighed? This is Dan's contribution. Mm -hmm. We put a little sign up in the window for kids to look around and find it. Right, so back in the shop guys. Hope you enjoyed that little adventure. We found the dinosaurs, but uh, with that, that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this short little video and seeing how we do metal toe plates, if that's something that you were searching for and you're new to the channel. Remember, subscribe. I'm making new content all the time and give us a big like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps us with the channel. I do have to say to you guys that are my regulars when we spoke about the online Cobbler VIP course, unfortunately, that's not going to be going ahead. That didn't get nearly as much interest as I thought it would. And unfortunately, it just wouldn't be practical or worth my time to be able to put that together for you guys. Sorry for those of you who were interested. I'm sure I'll have another brainwave and idea to hit you with soon. So we'll see what I come up with. Next video I've got for you guys is another day in the life video. We've got a local car show that I'm taking my uh, Dodge Challenger to next weekend. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure you'll like it. With that, I am out of here. I'm going to go and enjoy the sunshine. Once again, thanks for watching. If you're one of my regulars, make sure and hit the notifications bell so you are kept in the loop every time I upload something new. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.